humanity is entering its fourth industrial revolution. In a series of films, we investigate five new technologies that will transform society, leading us into the post-human era. We start with the need for a new technology, a solution to a rising problem. Now we had elite fighters losing limbs on the front lines at astounding rates. That's how Project Nodens came to life. We needed to develop a new technology that eradicated an individual's disability, make them more than human. And let me tell you, these are not the crude prosthetics of yesteryear. Now, we're 10 years on. We've reached advances no one could imagine. Project Nodens started with targeted muscle re -innervation. We're building the nerves from the arms and placing them into the chest. We created arms that attached the patient's internal skeleton, then added an exoskeleton for strength, and it made our patients much stronger than the average human. To create next level technology, we had to go deeper. Brain signals now control the limb. Advanced neural wiring made it all possible. With an arm like this, you never tire. Only your real body does. It keeps you sharp at all times. Do you think the military need to apply limits to this new technology? Limits? We've entered a new era of warfare. There's no going back. I was an elite soldier. SEAL Team 3, two tours in the line. And that second tour, some crazy shit happened. One minute I'm a perfect killing machine and then... I'm a cripple. I think it's ironic that a disabled person can now have an edge over someone that's fully abled. I mean, we have a chance here to fully eradicate disability. Forever! Humanity seems to be speeding up its own evolution. But at what cost? Soon after I signed up for Project Nodens, I became their first lab rat. Anything to get my life back. Can you tell us more about Operation Gauntlet? There, there were some glitches earlier in the project, as with any new technology. But we've ironed those out. Gauntlet. The first stop using post-human soldiers. And that got me back into the fight. I felt superhuman that night. Until, uh... I mean, I, I lost control. That is not how it went down. The case was settled. We, 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 we discharged all involved. We have no problems now. Did you feel any other disturbances post-operation? Sometimes I black out. No, no way to recall the memories. I just get break or dream where I'm observing myself from the outside. No control over my body. Military grade technology like this coming home from the battlefield. Shouldn't the public be concerned? I'm more concerned about veterans being treated with contempt. To us, they're heroes, pioneers in new warfare. There's no support system. I've just been left to get by my own. But this arm is a gift. Soldier X informs us of an illegal fight he's preparing for in two days' time. We're soon granted access to the front line of a new sport that's forming. What do you think of this new technology, bionic technology? It's bionic fighter. I admit, I laughed when I first met him. The cripple. And then I saw the arm. And I knew I had something that can change everything. You know? There's a hunger in these streets for blood. I just help keep it contained. As a businessman, I saw a hole in the market. A new blood sport is emerging. What do you think of athletes using this technology to enhance themselves? This has always been with us. It's our human nature. We're human after all. We want perfection. Do these discharge shoulders? Five have already been discharged with no problems. Six months in society. Can you disclose anything about criminal behavior of ex soldiers? No comment. Actually, last night we had a 1024 assault on the 33rd Street uh, subway station. The military's got to give us a way to track these discharged soldiers. 
I mean, some way to a database or a registry. It's ridiculous how these guys are out here in the streets, these trained ass assassins, basically these machines, especially with the PTSD. With public safety, we have no way of tracking these guys down. This psycho could be out on the subway right now doing the same thing. These limbs are five times human strength. Does this ability pose a threat to the public at large? Look, I understand these concerns, but we're not just rebuilding limbs here. We're rebuilding new lives. I mean, a gente segue um código de moral e ética. There's ethics behind these projects. Trust me, there's no need for public concern. What are the chances of criminals obtaining and enhancing these limbs for illicit advantages? That's not possible with this technology. It's just too advanced. Chama segurança, por favor. I'm done here. Thank you. No, I'm not here to talk about this. We can't simply take limbs away from good soldiers after they've served. Soldiers still possess. No comment, no comment. What's this over? Get, get out of my head. It's the day before the big fight. We interview other fighters on the undercard. <laughs> This guy's gonna have a competitive advantage with the with the arm. I'll do it. What do you think about these new costumes of fighters? Maybe it's even out the playing field a bit. Just give us some armor or something. All you robots out there, you don't belong in this sport. You guys are fing cheaters, and you fing know it too. So how can you put all the fighters out of this? You want to find it like this? Yeah, hold up. Each fighter clearly knows the dangers. I'm only concerned with their jobs. More of these post-humans are leaving the military. They're gonna take over the fight game. We're witnessing a new era of enhanced athletes. And it all started here with me. right now and it will grow and become legal just like you've seen in MMA and boxing you've seen it tonight there's a growing market for this sport baby and you know what money talks and I'm gonna make all of it ah, ah. perhaps now is the end for regular humans and the true beginning of the post-human era I'm the first of this kind and let me tell you the military ain't just stop here no they've done all their insane shit when the next generation gets released into society, that's when shit gets crazy.